welcome to the Boston Roll channel. If you want to support my daily Eternal Magic offerings while getting amazing perks like the Boston Roll Discord community, have me play your deck on the channel, or list inside more guides before tournaments, check out the Patreon or YouTube membership program. This channel is possible because of these amazing sponsors. Check them out, all their links are in the video description. As always, thanks for being here. Let's go play some magic. Welcome back to the Boston Roll channel. Today, at the request of Patreon subscriber Rage, I'm playing Modern, and this is Rage's Rakdos Waste Not Brew. Waste Not is a popular staple, occasionally shows up in a competitive deck here or there. It's one of these wonderful aspirational things. As a kid who was playing Magic, I started playing Magic when Tempest came out and Stronghold gave us Megrum. I remember the days of, oh man, how do I get my opponent to discard cards? And Waste Not is just like the highest form of that. One black enchantment. When an, whenever an opponent discards a creature, you make a 2-2. When they discard a land, you add black black. When they discard a non-creature, non-land, you draw a card. The problem with Waste Knot and Megrim and every other card like it is eventually your opponent runs out of cards to discard. So you can't just shove your deck full of Thoughts, Eases, Inquisition, and Kozilex and call it a day. You gotta refill them somehow and then take those cards away. We have in this deck to do that. Burning Inquiry, each player draws three, then discards three at random. Reforge the Soul, which is just Wheel of Fortune, five mana, and then uh, Miracles for one and a red. Each player discards their hand and draws seven. But you can't just give your opponent seven cards over and over again. How about punishing draws and punishing discards at the same time? Four Orcish Bowmaster, three Shouldred, four Waste Knot. You get them going in, you get them coming out, and just throw cards around for profit. Guy Reach Sanitarium, each player draws a card, discards a card. You can force the action on both ends of that with this one. And then supporting our Spice Engine here is just a bunch of playable modern cards. We've got Ragavan, Fable and the Mirror Breaker, Lightning Bolt, Thoughtseize, and some Underworld Breaches for that late game situation. You ever Burning Inquiry three or four times in the same turn with a Bowmaster in play? Neither have I, but I hope to do it before this league is concluded. That's the plan. It's a pretty simple one. This is not Rakdos Scam. It has none of the scam stuff going on, but it's also significantly more powerful and combo-y than like Rakdos Mid. Like it's not just the Pioneer deck ported into Modern. This is doing kind of its own thing here, and I'm excited to give it a shot. Let's jump in. This is Rage's Rakdos Waste Knot. I'm on the draw in round one against an opponent named Dak Faden. If there's anyone who appreciates drawing and discarding cards, it's Dak Faden. I'm keeping this hand, the Trips Burning Inquiry. Nobody knows what this hand does yet, but my opponent doesn't know what their hand does yet either. If I draw a Waste Knot or Bowmaster, I will hold my horses on Burning Inquiry, but if I don't, I'll probably just fire it on turn one. A Scalding Tarn. Slightly distressing because... If they are, is it Murktide? They might not mind having three random cards in their graveyard, but let, let's make a run at it. Maybe they'll spell pierce this if they're Murktide. Samut, Urborg Scavengers. When this enters the battlefield or attacks, exile a card in the graveyard, put a plus one counter on it. And it has all of the words of things in the graveyard. Okay. So I actually just enabled their graveyard centric deck and discarded both of my lands and a waste not on the way through. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. All right, it's going to be one of those leagues, is it? I literally drew the Waste Knot and then discarded it and my two other lands. I thought I was safe here. Nightmare fuel, for real. That's also the flip side of putting a card like Burning Inquiry in your deck. Sometimes you completely enable uh, an opposing graveyard combo deck while discarding all your lands. Soul Flayer? Yeah, I just enabled a turn two Soul Flayer with First Strike Vigilance and Haste. <laughs> Ah, uh, what a showcase of, of what we're doing here. This was a good time. And now I draw the Thoughtseize. I'm going to burn Uh Thoughtseize is not going to help me here, and I just got to make something happen. <laughs> Sign of Draco up the Beanstalk. Oh, that's what we're doing. Uh, I drew and discarded Reforge the Soul, some other stuff. Uh, yeah, Terminate costs two. I would need to draw a Lightning Bolt and a land, and now I'm out of redraws. <laughs> Oh, what a ranching. Okay. Terminate's gone. Dothy Voidwalker's in as a four of. Uh, my opponent cares about their graveyard, and I am likely to fuel it, so let's pump the brakes on that. Kroxa definitely comes out 
that it gives them selective options to fuel their graveyard. Lightning Bolt kills that that one shitter we saw. I think it was a 3-2 and it gets a plus one counter on arrival, so like 4-3 creature. I forget exactly how the card works, but the, the scavenger thing that I've never seen before. I really hate to cut my burning inquiries, but oh baby, did that not go well. And shave a breach. I can go reforge and just kind of turtle up, be a little safer here, jund him out. I promise this is not going to be one of those leagues where I just board out the, the namesake card of the deck every time. It's just like, you saw what just happened. What do you want me to do? Put burning inquiry in my deck? Okay, here we go. Now I can curve Thoughtseize into Voidwalker, and we've got something resembling a plan. Seize your thoughts. Territorial Kavu, Leyline Binding, Force of Vigor, two Endurances. And Kavu will be a 5-5. Five, five. I can't actually beat that card. All right, I'm taking the Kavu. Unfortunately, they can just bind my Voidwalker, but I think I'm, I just have to be okay with that. Or I could commit Waste Knot first and see what they want to do about that like if they just bind that then i don't care but that's not a decision they even have to make on a short notice i love that they saw my random breach off of a burning inquiry because that's why all these endurances are in the deck i'm like not even using my graveyard but they saw one breach so they're just all the way in force of vigor to endurance they have three pitch cards that answer breach in their hand right now and that's just like a random thing my deck does not even really part of the plan there's the foothills Terminate, bummer. Yeah, if I had had that a turn ago, I would have left the Kavu, taken the Leyline Binding, and just gone nuts with Void Walker. I think I actually am going to commit the Waste Knot, because they have a squeaky clean answer to Leyline, to a Void Walker in their hand in the form of Leyline Binding, but they'd have to two for one themselves to force it bigger. Ew, basic force in this deck? Okay, cool. We did it. That did exactly what I was trying to do. Let's see if I can leverage it. I hit my land drop, that's good. Voidwalker's in. Tilt. Okay. Their lightning bolt gets exiled, but my Voidwalker is gone. They can start hardcasting Endurance's next turn. Come on, land for Shouldered. Oh. I'll dash a Ragavan. That gives me the mana next turn. I suspect that their basic forest is not going to answer Rag. Ooh, a Fury. Okay, well, can't cast that, unfortunately, but Rag, return to me, my little buddy. Okay, they're just holding up Endurance here, but that's not the plan anymore. I am going to take two up Blood Crypt and keep my treasure around. Pew pew. At their hand is two Endurance, Force of Vigor, two Mystery Cards. Endurance does not address the Shouldered at all. Cool. My Graveyard is gone. Wasn't using it anyway. Shouldered is getting to work here. If they attack, it's because they have Lightning Bolt. Nice. I imagine Tribal Flames is in their deck and can just kill Shouldred straight up. I'm going to put this rag in on the front. And I am going to attack with Shouldred. If they try to double block, Terminate banishes them. I should have waited till second main to play this rag. I didn't fully map out the Shouldred decision yet. Okay, do they suddenly have a bolt that they didn't have a second ago? Or I guess I just don't block and then I don't care. Alright, sure. Bummer, I wish I had another one of those I could cast right now. Hey, they have Endurance, and we both know they have Endurance, which means that they should read that this Ragavan attack will be met with a removal spell. Here's this. Terminate this jerk. Oh no. Do you have some stupid card? Like a save you card? What save you card is there? Stubborn Denial doesn't work here. Oh no, they're just putting a tap land into play. Before I steal it. Bang. Oh, I got a Striped River Winder. Yikes. One, two, three, four, five. I'm. Oh no, it's a 7 drop. I, was, I thought I was one short of casting it. I would have been distraught. The re -shouldening. Go. Force of Vigor in your hand. Been there since the start of the game. Never had a target. Well, had a target, but I tricked you into using your good spell on it. Cycled River Winder. Lose 2. Got him. Scion of Draco. This is a big O. But it does not beat Shoulder in combat. I'm just going to send both of these homies. Because if they block the rag, Draco dies to bolt. If they don't block the rag, or they just die to bolt here. That's even better. I think I'm going to run Blood Crypt out. And they don't currently have blue available. Yeah, I'm just going to bolt them and make them dead in their draw step. They need a Leyline Binding to survive here. Okay, cool. 
Okay, so they are domain zoo with various cares about the graveyard creature text. And they showed me two endurances and a force of vigor. They went hard against my breaches. I can bring in engineered explosives. That kills uh, territorial cabos and stuff. But it does very little, act actually. And other than the Ragavan treasures, I don't make three colors of mana. I don't have, like, in a braid for Scion. Oh, Blood Moon, probably. Just Shadow Realms this deck. I'm, pro I'm probably not playing all four, but... Some numbers seem reasonable. Oh, the Force of Vigor is in, and I do know about that already. Thoughtseize actually seems super mid now that I know what they're doing, but that did let me map out the whole game. Now I'm in on Thoughtseize. Maybe a Lightning Bolt's kind of bad. Or Bowmaster. They don't actually seem to draw cards. Or, they had the Striper Rewinder. They do draw some cards. I think it... Oh, it might be the fourth Reforge. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna stay low here. And... More Blood Moon to Reforge. I don't want to be refilling Zoo just randomly. And having a couple Reforges in for in case I find children and do the thing. I'm in for that. It's funny, that Force of Vigor in their hand, they were probably thinking about Blood Moon, but I wasn't. And they were right. Oh, the Graven Cairns. I actually had a deck building session with Rage where we worked on this deck a little bit. And we talked a lot about Graven Cairns and how... It's just a dual land if you have another land, but you can't keep one landers on the strength of it because it doesn't make mana. And here we are. I'm going to mulligan this. Okay, I'm going to keep this. And I think I put Reforge back into the deck, though sticking a Waste Knot and Reforging just for five later. Nah, I don't think that's reasonable to do. Or at least not reasonable to plan around. It's probably perfectly reasonable to do. Orcish Bowmasters in the mix. First appearance of that one. Let's seize those thoughts. This might get stubborn denied, but more likely it just doesn't. Okay, you have two Scion of Draco, which is not a legend, and does cost two. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. I think I have to just take one of these, because I don't have a lot of good answers to it, and there are bolts and bindings. That's a later problem. Currently worried about Draco. Sucks I had two of that guy. I'm in the market for a Terminate. ASAP. There is Draco, 4-4 four, four flying for 2 mana, reasonable stuff. Okay, Lightning Bolt just handles Dothy Voidwalker. I'm not in a hurry to commit that. I can do Bowmaster stuff and just at least try to set up uh, a wheel. But they can Bolt and Bind with what they have. They continue just crack and fetch lands. I hate this. Oh, are you getting a Flying Soul Flare in right now? Woof. Okay. Oh, and Lifelink. Where did Lifelink come from? Oh, does it have all the words of it? If a creature card with flying was exiled with Soul Flayer's Delve ability, it has flying. The same is true for First Strike, Double Strike, etc. Draco gets Lifelink if you have... Oh, Draco grants it. Okay, alright. I, I forgot what Draco actually did. I thought Draco gained abilities, but it gives abilities. So Soul Flayer is getting the ability from Draco, not from, like itself okay all right i'm just gonna fetch a basic because lightning bolt clears this anyway i don't need to play to the the wheel they can bind or bolt with what they have and i'm just dead in the air yeah i actually cannot win this game because they hit me for eight and even if i rip the terminate and if i shock this in to double spell they just bolt me guess then i'm at one huh okay i'm going to one Casting the Ragavan. Oh wait, no. That's not how math works. I'm just dead. <laughs> Maybe they'll bolt my creature in the end step. And I get to play another turn. I was dead anyway. I need something to go my way here. If they just bolt my face, I'll concede. They found the line. Okay. Tough matchup. This is a deck that doesn't really draw cards on its own. And it has bigger the creatures than me. Faster than me. And kind of my conceit of my whole deck is uh, doing the opposite. Also the fact that they're just like... A graveyard synergy pseudo combo deck against my burning a gray deck. Get wrecked me. On to the next round. This video is sponsored by Moxfield.com, the easiest way to build magic decks online. Moxfield supports over 30 formats, including legacy and everything else you'll see on this channel. There's multiple customizations so you can interact with your deck how you want. Views such as text, grid, or stacks, and groupings like type, subtype, 
color, color identity, even artist. The site offers light mode, dark mode, and so much more. However you want to see your deck, Moxfield can provide it for you. Follow my Moxfield to keep up with the channel and what I'm playing in paper. I'll see you there. I'm on the draw with triple waste knot. I'm in. This is a hand that I hope they don't do anything too mess up on turn one. And then I thought sees them. And then I start investing in waste knots. And eventually I will draw a burning inquiry and just go ham. Is that a good plan? I hope so, because I'm committed to it. A misty rainforest. I drew reforge the soul. Two turns too early. That's all right. I got more of those. Let's have a peek, opponent. Show me your thoughts. Steam vents. Are you cantripping in response or spell piercing? Oh, okay. Cycling generous end. We're playing against living end. You know what this deck does a whole heck and lot of? Discards cards. Unfortunately, though, they are, because they're on the play, they get to cycle these two striped river winders in response to my waste knot and then just play the shardless agent and they never have to discard another card. Uh, if I was on the play, they would be in such shit. Life is pain. Okay. Um, I think I just play the Waste Knot anyway. Having this around is certainly... It, I don't have Nut Draws without Waste Knot in play. I guess is what I'm trying to spit out here. Grief. Okay. Uh, it's just getting better for them. I just looked at their hand. They exiled a Street Wraith. Smart, they didn't cycle that. Yeah, my hand sucks. Get a good gander. Yeah, forever on life tilt that the uh, the waste knot didn't come in before the the striped river winders got to cycle. Brutal die roll. And I would have just had a couple of 2 2 zombies that they then just take. So, uh, what they're living in just sweeps them up. It's not even like good, but I don't get to enjoy it. Okay, they're gonna shardless agent and put all these jerks into play. They get to grief me again. That one will probably take shouldered. And even if I do draw Reforge the Soul, they're only discarding two cards. Reforge? Raven Cairns. Okay. Okay. Uh, red, black. I'm going to cast the Kroxa. Their hand is two lands, so I get black, black off of this, and then I die. Heck yeah, black, black in the pool. We triggered, Refor or we triggered Waste Not once this league. Ah, play draw. Chalice of the Void, Dothy Voidwalker, Leyline of the Void. See, we have a plan for this matchup. Blood Moon's not it. I don't think Terminate is it. Engineer Explosives doesn't help. Lightning Bolt, not huge for this matchup. I think Breach can come out. And I don't know that I want to go zero Terminate. And Kroxa just enables their stuff. Okay, a bunch of this in, a bunch of soft removal out. I, don't want, I do want some Terminates because... If you shut down their graveyard, the way they win is by just starting to spend 4, 5, and 6 mana on their creatures that are in their deck. They just become a limited deck, which, uh, just like limited, the last big creature wins. On the play with a Thoughtseize and a Ragavan, I'm going to keep and I'm going to lay it on Ragavan. Just everything gets better with a Ragavan in play, where Thoughtseize, like what happened last game, they have a bunch of redundant ways to cascade into their thing. And their hand is probably just a bunch of cyclers that don't even cast the thing right away. Just gotta hope I don't get furied off the bat. I'm gonna play my mountain now, because if they cycle, I want to bowmaster them. And then I'll use my treasure to Thoughtseize. Boop. And they are cycling, Curator of Mysteries. I'll bowmaster in response. Let's just reduce that life total. They had a straight right in response. Life total goes down when percentage goes up. And I flipped a shardless agent. Wow, that's like thought seizing it. They say you can't thought seize the top of the deck, but I feel like I just did. Now I'm going to thought seize their hand too. Uh, yep, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. They just have three of them. Okay, uh, violent outburst is the instant speed one. They have all their colors of mana, so that's whatever. I'm going to take the outburst and make them do it on their main phase at least. But I do have some damage coming through here. Blood Crypt, not super helpful. It's going to send the squad. I'd love to flip a Grief. I mean, I guess they just subtlety it. Leyline? Well, I'm not casting that card. 
if I cast Shouldred here, they probably subtlety her. And subtlety ends up in the graveyard. Is it better for me to Shouldred post thing? Because they can also just cast subtlety, it dies, and it's another object in the graveyard for the post living in world. Yeah, I'm not going to give that to them for free. They might just do it anyway, and I'm not letting them have my Shouldred as they do it. Because if they're just at five or six, or they might even be at like three by the time the Shouldred hits, so they cycle Architects, they shock in Breeding Pool, cycle another Architects, okay. I mean, this might be enough to just run it with the Subtlety. Yeah, uh, they're probably not just going to blind pitch the Subtlety. When it's at two, and me boarding out my my lightning bolts. Living End resolves. They get to Architects, both of us. But they are at two. I will be fetching in my end step. I am slamming Shouldred. They get to Subtlety her, but then she's on top of my deck. And if they swing out, Dash Ragavan. All right, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. And fetch 16. So I'm also at two on board. If they swing out, Dash Ragavan gets them. But they can't just hang out forever because shoulder it is eventually a problem. Tap Blood Crypt in the end step. Undo the damage Architects did. Sanitarium. I guess I have to... This Blood Crypt is never coming into play if I don't do it now. All right, yeah, I'm playing Shouldred with the treasure. They're going to subtlety her. I hope they pitch the subtlety. Because if they just have double blue card here... Oh, they had another Shardless Agent. That's probably the end of that. But I am going to put Big Mama on top of my deck. Yeah, now if they just have a land or a blue card, my plan to jam shoulder doesn't work. There it is. Okay, now I can't win. And it just took four Cascade spells to beat me. We thought seized one. We flipped one with Ragavan. They cast one, and then they just pitched one to Subtlety, getting to keep the other Subtlety. And they're leaving black back Ragavan blockers. Okay. You figured it out. Okay, but uh, I mean, that was tough. The uh, the double subtlety was really good. And having zero graveyard hate, also kind of tough. Put a lot of damage on them, though. Got them to two. Maybe I'm not supposed to take out bolts. I don't know. The game plan was there. I don't feel too bad about that. I don't think you can just mulligan for a ley line. Against decks built to beat ley line. Okay, next round. You come here to level up at Magic. To level up as a software engineer, check out the new YouTube series Dev Better, hosted by the founder of 7 Factor Software and Magic player, Jeremy Duvall. 7 Factor's small teams of high-performing engineers build custom mobile apps, APIs, and highly scalable systems for Fortune 500 companies and ambitious startups with great ideas. If you'd like to hire 7 Factor, or maybe join their team, contact them through their website at 7factor.io. And don't forget to subscribe to 7 Factor's YouTube for every episode of Dev Better. I'm on the play in round three, which has been a difference maker in, in all the matches we've played so far. I can lead on Thoughtseize, then dash rag, or I could play rag and swing for the turn two fable. I think I want a Thoughtseize first. In modern decks are built to absorb ragavan beats, right? Yeah, I'm going to go for the Thoughtseize first and just see what they're cooking with. Oh yeah, this hand was never connecting with that ragavan, and it never will. I think I'm most worried about Renin 6 here. Yeah, that must be it. Okay. This could be Jund. It, oh, it can't be uh, Creativity because there's a Haywire Might. Yeah, this is Jund Saga. Haywire Might is a Saga bullet, and we see Jund lands with Renin 6. Jund Saga is the name of the game. Well, if there's a deck that's going to fart around long enough for me to get Reforge the Soul going, it's probably this one. Oh disappointing that they just have this stupid Haywire Might in their hand. But if they play and activate Haywire Might next turn, that lets Ragavan get a crack through these Unholy Heats, and then I get the Moral Victory, whether I actually win the match or not. Stupid Haywire Might. If Waste Knot was in my opener, I might have just taken that, the Haywire Might over the Renin 6, and let God sort them out. Blood Crypt. Haywire Might. They don't actually have to use it right away either. They can block and then waste me not. And then Ragman gets no hits. Ugh. Tough beats. Underworld Breach. Okay, everything is everything is failing now. We're falling apart at the seams. 
I guess I dashed the rag to to at least force the action. Because bolting the haywire might results in waste not and bolt being gone. Dashing the rag results in haywire might being gone, but I still have all my cards and they have to respect Ragavan for the rest of the game. Or they could just trade and I get to keep my waste not, which I don't think is gonna happen here. Nope. I think the actual best case scenario was just drawing a land there. Then I have Fable and Waste Knot, and I get to keep something through the Haywire Might either way. Pirate Spell Bomb. Come on, land. Okay, yeah, hey. It's Fable time. They have three face-up removal spells for the, the Goblin Buddy, but looting away this Ragavan is an absolute pleasure. Can't even wait to do it. I right, spent a heat on that rather than the in-play Spell Bomb. Uh, that's smart, because they know I'm a discard deck, and this is a removal spell that's chilling. And it counts for their constructs and stuff. And they could just draw a card off it. What I'm trying to say is Spy Pirate Spell Bomb is better in many ways than Unholy Heat on this board. I'm so glad this deck doesn't have Lurus anymore. What a world that was. But that means it has Shouldred. Oh no, I have Reforged the Soul in my hand, you psycho. Why would you do this to me? Okay, I lose two life here. And I'm going to have to just lose more life because, like, what am I supposed to do? Um, I can discard the Reforge, dash the Rag. Yeah, I'm just going to go one card here. I don't think they risk their Shieldred by blocking Ragavan. But if I flip a removal spell off their deck, it's a good deal. All right, Rag, get in there. Okay, there's no way they block. Oh my god. Really? Alright. I guess they read that as a display of desperation rather than a lightning bolt. I'll take that read. Get her out. Alright. Nice. I'm glad that worked out. That Ragavan ended up being an essential piece of the game, despite my opponent having three face-up removal spells that could kill it. This is where they played the second shouldered. Tarmogwife. Okay, I'm way less worried about that one. It's still a problem, but like, whatever. It's not shouldered against my Wheel of Fortune deck. Burning Inquiry. My Waste Knot got exiled, of course it did. I can Underworld Breach play Ragavan here. Do I have any unique things in my graveyard that I can shrink Tarmogoyf with? Doesn't seem like it. I could play Breach, then play Burning Inquiry and just see what shakes loose. That's probably actually the play. Okay, Blood Crypt. Shock it in. Underworld Breach. Burning Inquiry. Just mill myself. I am dead on board, so I have to make something happen here. Oh, wait. That, this doesn't even work. I'm out of red mana? Shit. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. Uh, Burning Inquiry. I need to hit a Terminate. They're deciding right now if they want to Unholy Heat my Reflection to have Lethal on board, or if they want to take the risk. Because they end up just milling three cards if, they, if that happens. Yeah, in my brain, I just had one more mana than I actually do, or this costs one less, or something. I thought that there was a world where I could flip into Waste Knot, cast it from my graveyard, and then Inquiry again, but I can't. Okay, they're committing to the, the mill three, but that does leave Lethal on board. Except that it doesn't, because now I can play a blocker, and of course there's not a Terminate or a Black Spell of any kind in here. You have six card types, which means I have a unique one. What do I have that you don't? I have enchantment, but if I exile that... Oh, you have enchantment too. You have Urza Saga. You don't have any sorceries. That's what's going on over there. Okay, so if I Ragavan exiling my three sorceries, I can block. Oh no, I have four sorceries. There's not even a line here. Okay, I'm just casting Ragavan. <laughs> what a horrible turn. At least I'm not dead on board anymore. There is a universe where... I mean, they should just attack with Tarmogoyf, I think. They could poke Ragavan, put me to one. Or they could attack, let me chump, and I'm dead on board, and they still have a removal spell. Okay, they went with a removal spell. They could just have a bolt or a Ragavan in their hand, too. Yep, cool. All right. All right, fine. Terminate's coming in. Dothy Voidwalker looks pretty good. They saw Breach, and, spoiler, it wasn't good. I don't like Thoughtseize and Jund Mirrors, or Jund-style Mirrors, because it's just a bad top deck, and most of, your, most of the cards you can just beat. Okay, I'm going to do it like this. 
more terminates, more threats, fewer stinker draws. Okay, I've got removal and a waste knot. I'm going to keep uh, that heck in haywire might just in their opening hand last game. Can't catch a break at this league. We're going to do the thing at least once. Hold on. It'll happen. I think I lead on Marsh Flats here, because if I don't have to do anything, I'd like to get a Blood Crypt in being free right now. Speaking of Blood Crypt, Thoughtseize. That's my job. I've ordered those out. Let's see how this works out for them. But I'm kind of a combo deck, and they're actually just a Jun deck, so maybe their Thoughtseize make more sense than mine. Took my good card. Blood Crypt tapped. Ooh, I like that one. In this game, it comes down and draws cards the turn before they can shoulder me. No Haywire might. What's going on over there, buddy? Fable of the Mirror Breaker coming in. Hopefully causing problems. Fetching in response. Oh, they actually shocked that in. So they have a spell. Just besaging that in response. I will use the ability to get my basic mountain. I want to leave Bolt up in case they try to dash rag underneath me. And this is a two for one. We're recouping the cards at some point. That will matter. Unholy Heat. And they shocked in another stomping ground. Are you Jund Shadow? Or are you just keeping your, your options open here? Guess what I had. There's only two of them in the deck, right? <laughs> yep, always had it. Good stuff. You want to besage it again? Yeah, you do. Here we go. Cool. All right, another two for one that also ramps me. It's kind of not even a two for one. It's like a two and a half for one because my card's not even just totally gone. It was just converted into a land. I now have six mana in play and three cards in hand to their three mana and three cards in hand. Fascinating. These two and a half for ones really add up. That's just magic theory. Kroxa would be a sick draw here. Kroxa, Shouldred, Bowmaster. Lots of good draws here. I would even take a Waste Knot. I'm not too proud. I'll invest in success. Oh. Top of the deck. Hooking me up. Remember when I said I can't catch a break this league? Uh, the deck heard me. The secret to Magic Gathering is to just complain as often as possible. Because eventually, the gods will hear you. My opponent goes to 8 here. Which is an important number. Because now if they thought sees me, they die. All right, I think I just bolt this thing. Because even if the, my bolt turns on Fatal Push, that's going to happen when they block anyway. I guess that costs me bolt on a board that doesn't otherwise need to cost me bolt. All right, yeah, but if they don't have that, they take the extra four damage and they're dead on board for five, six, seven, eight. No, they're at one. Okay. Just working them through their cards. Oh. Do I want to do this, or do I want to save it for when I have a payoff? I'm going to save it till I have a payoff. Just a Bowmaster or Waste Knot, slam that, bang. Or Shouldred. Huge number of payoffs in the deck for this at this point. Versus just randomly moving cards around. Reforge the Soul. Uh, that's kind of a bummer, because I don't really want to give my opponent 7 fresh cards now that they're kind of in the dirt. But also, I get the first look, and they're pretty low on life. I am going to reforge the soul. Let's do it. And I'm going to bolt them in response. Oh, shit. Uh, well, maybe I'll bolt that in response. I can also just not cast it. I revealed it for Miracle. That doesn't mean I have to cast it. My opponent is hellbent right now. Do I want to give them fresh ones? I will take the fresh ones. Yeah, let's reforge the soul. They draw seven here. That sucks. This might be a mistake, but I want to get something going too. You're not the only player in this game. Though I'm sure you'd like to be. We both would. Well, my seven cards were awful. Good news, everyone. I'm just going to play Ragavan and pass with Terminates available. I'm not going to try to dash into seven open mana. Jeez. Where were my Bowmasters? I drew 7-2. Why are your cards better than mine? My deck's built to do this. Angry with rage. I probably should not have just wheeled at all. Like, I identified that that was probably not strategically sound, but I want the deck to do its thing at least a little bit. Ren and 6. And now they can just besage you forever. Yeah, I think wheeling my Hellbent opponent might have been a mistake. They picked up Bloodstain Mire instead of besage you. Dothy Voidwalker. Okay. I have a terminate for that if I'm worried about it. No, I don't. Never mind. 
Yeah, they took my Terminate. If they just don't attack, they don't have to worry about anything. Oh, they're thinking about it. Please attack. That would be so reckless. They're completely in control of this game right now, as long as Ragavan doesn't run amok, and they figured it out. Uh, Do I even have fetchable lands left in my deck? I think there's one Blood Crypt left. Yep, yeah, one Blood Crypt left. Can't play this Ragavan. It just dies to Renin 6, and then I'm in this Shadow Spear oppressive death spiral from here. I don't know. Why did I think that drawing seven cards would be good for me? It's not. It's only good for my opponent. Oh yeah, we got a Tarmogoyf now too. My only hope is Reforge the Soul again. The first one was bad. The second one will save me. Come on, Miracle Reforge. You need to Reforge into a Payoff and a Burning Inquiry, and then we go nuts. I want to be perfectly clear that if this was the Pro Tour and I had somehow registered this deck, I would not have cast that Reforge the Soul. That's just a 0% thing. <laughs> and Waste Knot, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Waste Knot when I'm damn close to dead on board. All right, I'm going to play the Waste Knot. I'm at 1 on board, but I guess I just play my spell and hope that they can't find one more damage somewhere and then hope that I top deck a Reforge or a Burning Inquiry and go nuts. They know the card in my hand. Dead to Bowmaster, Lightning Bolt, Dash Dragavan, another card type in the graveyard. Lots of ways to figure this one out. Uh, Kroxa also does it. <laughs> Yuck. Okay, I mean, I played for the camera and got absolutely obliterated for it, but that draw seven was some mess as well. Also, their last card in hand being Orcish Bowmaster. This deck, certainly built to go nuts with Orcish Bowmaster, is uh, also in danger when your opponent plays this card too. Because all your wheels work for them, too. And your burning inquiries. Gotta really make sure you're ahead when this thing happens. Okay, alright, let's rally. Let's get some wins in the back half. The Command Tower software by Eminence Gaming is perfect for hosting TCG events. It features easy-to-create event registration for 1v1 and 4-player Swiss structured tournaments. Event management has never been so simple, and it's web-based, so there's no download required. Get access for just $5 at eminence.event slash subscribe. I'm on the draw against a Jaggy strategy, and I'm going to keep my hand. This one actually has the good cards in it. Gigantha is sometimes Tron, sometimes Shadow. Uh, clearly, it's not Tron at this point. You've got a rag. I've got a rag, but I have to Lightning Bolt you. I don't get to rag here. At the beginning of combat, Lightning Bolt this thing. It didn't play a land. That's good news. Maybe they don't have one. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Good sportsmanship, fingers crossed, that you miss your land drop. I need a non-game here. Okay, Inquisition. Hands full of good cards. They took my Thoughtseize, and they played their own land. And they're doing more stuff. This looks like more discard. Yeah, okay. Suspect I lose Ragavan here, though I don't know how bad Bowmasters is for them. Yep, Ragavan's gone. Underworld Breach. Hello? We might actually do something with Breach this game. I'm not just going to Bowmaster them in the main phase, because uh, if they are Shadow, which they probably are. Right at 6, yeah, that doesn't get to kill my Bowmaster because I waited. I like that more than killing my Bowmaster. Alright, well, I'll respond to this one. And they already... Yeah, they plused Ren. They could have thought seized me first and then killed Bowmaster with Ren. Interesting. I can't finish off Ren regardless here. I could just breach bolt the thing. Yeah, I'm not going to reduce their life total for them. Now they can plan for the long game and take breach or plan for the immediate issue. Oh, sick. You ever just draw the best card in your deck on purpose? Bang! Here's this. I'm going to attack Ren, because now if they ping the Bowmaster, Ren's dead. Breach is my hand. They have two lands, two mystery cards in theirs. Tireless Tracker, okay, that will make some clues, but it also rowdies up the Bowmaster. And I do have access to Breach Lightning Bolt as just the world's worst. Breach turn. I am not going to use this ability. I'm going to play the Gaia Reach Sanitarium, and I am going to Breach Bolt here. It's not pretty, but it works. Sick. Then attack Renin 6. 
I guess I just want Ren dead. I'm going to put all the damage on Ren here. This can't be broken up by a removal spell. Okay, nothing to escape for this bolt. They are holding another land in their hand. If they crack this clue, they take one and grow my army. But Gyre Reach Sanitarium is also extra damage. But as long as they have cards in hand, it's card selection for them. Oh no! Well, that was the best card you could have. Good job. Well, I'm not activating Gaia Reach Sanitarium anytime soon. So it should be illegal in the game of Magic for when you build your deck around a card that your opponents also have that card. What is this? Is this another one? Oh, it's Jaggy in hand. Okay, that's fine. Removal spell? Ragavan. Okay. Um, If I dash Rag, they just eat it with their Orc army. I think if I attack first, I might get a trade-off Orc army. And then Ragavan gets to be alive. Cool. And I guess I'd rather leave this card in my hand as something to loot around with Gaia Reach Sanitarium. It sucks leaving Discard on this late in the game, but also an X1 in play against a known Bowmaster deck. And they have their 5-5 creature. Powerful. Can I draw a Terminate? I'll even take a Lightning Bolt just to clear their Bowmaster, or my own Bowmaster to kill their Bowmaster. Or a Shouldred. Okay, I like Shouldred. I'm done complaining. Uh, yeah, okay. I will tap the Sanitarium. I was thinking, like, is there a world where looting and hurting them with Shouldred again is worth the Bowmaster paying? And that world does exist, but I actually just couldn't get there unless I throw my Goblin away in combat, just jump attack it for a treasure. Can their last card in hand just be a brick, please? Do they just fetch Fatal Push here? I'm over it. They are fetching, and the land came in tapped. That's good news. Okay, they've lost at least two life from Shouldred. That means they didn't have an instant speed answer to her. Cracking your clue, taking your medicine. You're at three now. Ren and six. That doesn't matter. Picking up Verdant Catacombs. That doesn't matter. If you activate that, you die to the next Shouldred trigger. End step. I am going to make a copy of my Goblin Shaman with a treasure. Because I get to keep this into my turn. It'll just replace itself with the treasure. Get kind of a freebie attack. I gain two life. And I can dash Ragavan, and this is, is this lethal? One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's very close if it's not there already. Dash Rag, attack with everything that isn't Shouldered. Then they have to figure out the combat step, and they have to figure out the Shouldered. And I can activate Guy Reach Sanitarium, and they lose two life at any point. Bowmaster, and that's above average here. I think I activate Shouldered in response. Then they die in there. Yeah, because they have enough blockers anyway. The difference is that they actually get a trade. Yeah, I'm going to activate Gaia Reach Sanitarium in response. Discard Blood Crypt. Okay, they know right now if they're dead or not. If I just looted them into an instant speed removal spell, maybe I'm just supposed to see if they draw a removal spell and loot in response to it. If they do, like put them to one and then they're dead to Sanitarium at any point. May have outsmarted myself with the uh, the second Bowmaster. It's like, I don't have to take two. It's like, well, you know, the opponent could also just be dead. But they do have to block all these creatures, so they'll be down to one Bowmaster plus Jeggy on their turn. Okay, those are gone. I'm going to sandbag the rag because they have Ren, and I guess I just hope that you don't have a Terminate right now or an Unholy Heat because I did just feed it to you. And lose two life. Ooh, all right. I did not play that final combat perfectly. It's safe to say. A Voidwalker Terminate. We've seen this plan before. I'm going to save one of the Breaches, but not both. They are a Bowmaster deck, too. All of these wheels are so dangerous. Uh, the Thought Seizes are out. I actually like Breach. It was really good there. And Explosives. Do I care about that? I don't think I specifically want that for this matchup. And I'm not trying to thought he's a Jun deck. Let's go. Okay, uh, spells, lightning bolts, and the lands to cast them. I'm in. Overgrown tomb. Are we getting thoughts seized? Inquisition. All right. Voidwalker is the more powerful card here that they can take. But if their plan is to stick a Ragavan and get to work, they take the bolt. Or if they have two removal spells or two discard spells, they can also do it that way. Or if they just have a removal spell at the ready for my Voidwalker. Blood Crypt in tapped. I'm going to play it. 
They're also a Thoughtseize deck. I can't just not put my cards into play. A Fatal Push is their play. Zeotor is Proving Ground. Okay. They're holding up mana, which makes it feel like a Bowmaster to me, but I just drew this card. I like this card. I'm going to get a Basic Swamp and just run this out. Yeah, drawing a Potent 3 right before the, the Potent 4 that they know is in my hand. Yep, here's this Jerk. So I will not be doing much looting. I'll probably still loot one card, though, at least. Probably exactly one card. No attacks from the opponent. Oh, my own Bowmaster is nice. Well, I'm going to try to mess up their Bowmaster here and see if I could get a full car turn's worth of selection out of this Fable. And I'll know if they have a re-Bowmaster or not because you make your decision after this trigger resolves. Okay, looks like they do. Cool. And now I am less incentivized to loot any cards. Though I kind of think I need to. I'm going to dump one of the Blood Crypts. I hate giving him a 3-3 three, because three, that is bigger than my stuff. but. Rewarded with a meaningful card. I am actually going to punch the Orc army and get my attacks in now. I don't like leaving Bowmaster in play, but I do like moving my game plan forward. With Shouldred still in my hand too, looming, but they know it's there. Might as well attack with that, it's not blocking. Unholy Heat, cool. Hey, my beautiful boy. I'm going to shock in Blood Crypt. Which will tell them that I have a 2-drop here, but I'd rather just give them that information than not be able to actually use it. Okay, show me the Terminate. You've been planning around this card since turn 1 of the game. Okay. And I'm going to take out their Bowmaster now. Okay, here we are. Uh, Ren and 6 kills my Bowmaster now, but then it dies in combat, and if they don't have removal, I get to start copying Bowmaster and flinging damage around. They do have a Ren and 6. They're picking up a land instead of pinging Bowmaster, so they, they must have a spell, uh, their own Bowmaster or a Goyf or something. Besaging my Fable. Okay. I accept the ramp. Okay, deck, now's the time. If we're going to reforce the soul or Burning Inquiry, send it right now. We'll just have to dash a Ragavan. Okay. I could kill Ren, or I could connect with their face. I think I just want to connect with their face. Give me a good spell. Nile spell bomb. Heck yeah. I will take that. Thank you. And I'm going to bomb you now because if I draw any of those cards I just talked about, that's awesome. I didn't. I drew a redundant rag. But if that was Burning Inquiry, I would have felt great about it. And that clears the Besaju out of the Ren looping. Tireless Tracker. Okay. Shadow Spear. ruh -roh. And Ren did kill my thing. Waste not. Not. Waste not helpful, more like. Am I right? I'm going to dash Rag at their face. This is a painful trade if they make it. Yeah, I think you just take it here. Unholy heat. Tell me about the heat. It's unholy. And invest in the waste not. Yeah, that Rag was sick. Versus Saga. That will be a problem down the road. I'm still dashing this rag and their hellbent, so all they can do is put Jackie in hand. Wait, what? They forgot they have a companion. They're hellbent with no cards to play. Yeah, they should have put that in their hand for sure. Unless they're playing around intentionally a Thoughtseize, triggering my Waste Knot. Alright, they might be on a thousand IQ stuff. A Tarmogoyf. I like that card. I'll cast it. That's a big one. And let's get another Waste Knot in there. This Burning Inquiry is going to friggin' kill you the second I find it. Come on, deck. We're all set up. Give me one for the camera. One Reforge the Soul off the top. I think they should main phase their Saga token and equip it with Shadow Spear. That is their best way out of this. There it is. All right, deck. Burning Inquiry. Reforge the Soul. Ren plus on nothing. Reforge the Soul. Reforge the soul. Yes, 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 yes. We're doing this all day. Pew, pew. See you later, Ragavans. Uh, opponent discarded two things, which means I draw two things. Can I get a Burning Inquiry too? Nope. Uh, Goyf is now 6-7. Uh, I'm just going to bolt their idiot and kill them. We did it. We did it, Internet. 
We did it one time, and it mattered a lot. And it won the match on the board with one round to go. Let's do it. For the absolute best Magic the Gathering apparel on the market, check out the link in the video description to coalesceapparel.shop and be sure to use the code BOSTONROLL for 10% off when you check out. I'm on the play in the final round. I have Waste Knot into Kroxa and Gaia Root Sanitarium in the background. If my opponent just lets me cast my spells, we're doing stuff. Big if, based on how this league has gone and the general speed of the modern format. But a cool thing that could happen here, if I play Waste Knot on 2 and then Kroxa on 3 and they discard a land, I can float Black Black, then play Gaia Root Sanitarium for my hand and loot with it, and then Waste Knot triggers again. Opponent mold to 5, that's scary. Are you Tron? Are you Amulet? Are you Scam? What's going on over there? Who goes to 5 in modern? Hammer looking for a good deck or good hand. Seacrum Coast could be Hammer. Seacrum Coast Go is the line. I'm going to invest in the Waste Knot. All my cards are better with this card in play. And if they have to spell pierce this, it's like not even doing anything. Okay, cool. That's gone. And then Kroxa shows up next turn. Is this like spirits? Okay. It appears to be some sort of affinity or hammer kind of situation. Giver of runes. That one's annoying. One, Two cards left in their hand, though. One card left in their hand. Uh, Kroxa is likely to farm a good one here. Fable. Oh, no. That's like the one card I would play over Kroxa on this board. All right, fine. I'm going to invest in Fable. This is just too good to, to pass up here. And if their last card in hand is a hammer... If it's Sigarda's aid, and then they can tutor hammer next turn, I'm going to feel bad about this. But if they're holding the hammer, then they need Sigarda's aid to equip it anyway. Maybe I'm just a complete skank for value and just had to play this, even though it's wrong. Another Saga. They get to start making buddies this turn. Their buddies are going to be really big. Uh oh, they tapped their Saga. That means they have a spell. What spell here is better than making Saga tokens on this mostly grindy board. Interesting. 1-3 lifelink is better than 3-3. Three, three. What is going on? They're just poking in. Like, there's no cigar to Zade. That can't be hammer in their hand. That was shockingly aggressive. I mean, maybe it's right. I don't know their deck or what's in their hand, but wild. I'm incredibly surprised by that play. Reforge the soul. I'm not casting that. Nope, you can't trick me. I'm going to discard Reforge and Breach here. I can't reasonably get to five cards for Kroxa, and I would like to take that last card out of their hand. Breach and Reforge discarded. Bowmaster showed up. I do like that one quite a lot. Go to Combato. Attack with my Goblin. Giver protects another creature you control that can't just block eat like a Mother of Runes could. The opponent accepted their damage. I'm going to Kroxa before I make my land drop. I don't know that it matters. But let's just get that hand empty one way or another. They either cast the spell here. The only reason it would matter is if I wanted to flash in Bowmasters, but I have the treasure, which I'm fine spending. Just I don't, I don't know why that would happen. Like If they like opt in response, I don't know. It seems unlikely that this deck would contain a card that matters here. Surge of Salvation. Hexproof from red, protect damage. Okay, so they did have something to think about there. And I'm going to play this Blood Crypt tap and hopefully get some value of Bowmaster. Okay, they can make one construct here that will be a 3 3, then tutor into a 4 4. They would need an untapped land to get another construct. Or no, they have to tap Saga to make this one. Wow, they didn't even float mana. They're just like, nope, this is gone. Didn't make a construct, didn't float one. Fascinating. By the way, if you're playing in paper and somebody with an Urza Saga says, like, trigger Saga search and then just looks at you and then you say OK, then they've already used their... They've passed priority and they can't float mana anymore. That happened to me in the... In a win and in of a very important tournament. My opponent was like, oh yeah, I just thought I could do that. Nope, you cannot. Oh, and then didn't take the two off of this or just fetch a basic to make constructs? What's going on over there? 
I think I would have been dead to just these four constructs a hundred times if they just made them. I'm confused. Now they're just moving Shadow Spear on to give her of runes. You know you could block with Ornithopter, gain one life, and and like nothing happens there. <laughs> okay. Draw for my turn. Fable flips. Now Bowmaster kills Giver of Runes because that's the blocking creature they decided to commit to. And I also get to play Shouldered. Attack. Yeah, if they just left Shadow Spear on Ornithopter, I get to keep making treasures, but they can block, and then if I have anything, they can protect. Now if they block, that is also the protection creature, and it can't protect itself, so Bowmaster just eats this thing and gets this scary permanent off the board. Okay, you gain two life. Second main. Orcish Bowmasters. Kill your Giver of Runes. Gaia Reach Sanitarium. I'm leaving the land in my hand because I'm likely to want to loot it. And Children. Okay. Hellbent Opponent has yet to make a construct with Urza Saga. Now I feel like I might finally be ahead of a construct with Urza Saga. Even if they do make it. Kroxa needs two more cards in my graveyard, but I have a fetch land and a Gaia Reach Sanitarium activation. Hithing Needle getting naming what? Reflection or Sanitarium. And once again, they neither floated nor made a construct. Uh, they Pithing Needle Children. Uh, okay, I, I'm going to stop being rude. I think this opponent is truly learning how to play modern. Yeah, none of that is how these cards work. Welcome to the format. We all take our beats when we're learning. Okay, draw for turn. Shouldered triggers. Because it is not an activated ability. I can copy Bowmaster and then loot. And that puts two pings on something. I think I want to attack with Orc Army and Shouldered. And I suspect I'm going to get some free money on blocks here. Oh, I should have copied this pre. Because now if they block with the O2. Yeah, if I copy pre-combat... They're less likely to fall for a trick, but it's also just a better attack because I get to kill this Ornithopter outright, attack with an extra X1. I'm over here talking about how my opponent is new to modern and I can't even do combat math. It's okay. Where would we be as a society if everyone knew what they were talking about? Oh, okay. No blocks at all. Do I want the extra three damage here? What's the alternative? Activate Sanitarium, discard Blood Crypt, fetch Kroxa. Yeah, I don't even need the extra Bowmaster. All right, each player draws a card and then discards a card. I should reforge the soul. Of course I did. That, that rules. That's actually awesome for next turn. Discard Blood Crypt. That's card number four for Kroxa. And then I fetch. That's card number five. Then I have a 6-6 six, six, and they take another three. Fetch a Rooney. Do I want the mountain? I think I do. Mountain's better with breach. Black, black, red, red. Treasure, moto, displaying it on on uh, in my graveyard. I wish I could exile that. Not how that works, though. Okay. I cannot imagine how I lose this game, but good luck, opponent. You're up. I really hope they just pass and don't concede so I can reforge the soul and get a reforge win before this league is over. No! All right, fine. Oh, wait, I got a Reforge win earlier, didn't I? I, ref I did Reforge on a turn where I needed to. A Terminate and EE seem like places I want to be. I didn't see a basic land, and I did see Urza Saga. Maybe some number of Blood Moon is reasonable. Bolt seems great. Bowmaster is solid. Ragavan actually seems kind of bad. I'm on the draw against a deck full of little shitters that can block. Bring in one Blood Moon and... I actually think I want a large number of reforges in against this deck. No, I don't. What am I even saying? That's not true. Because they dump out their hand early. I don't want to reforge until I'm completely set up with Bowmasters and Children. Yeah, that's an endgame win gun. I'm going to bring in the Blood Moons. This seems like a person who would just die to Blood Moon. No offense, but that is part of learning the new format. Just being a free win against Blood Moon gamers. On the draw for game two, as funny as this full house is, I don't think I can actually keep this hand in the matchup. Oh no, the opposite problem. The other full house. Why couldn't these houses have been next to each other at some point? Go to five. Okay, keep. My houses are next to each other. I'm on five, they're on six. 
I don't think this Blood Moon is involved in this plan, and it's either Thought Seize them or Guarantee land number three. Land number three will come. I have faith. I've been very good at drawing lands this league. Wink, wink. Giver of Runes, okie dokie. Drawing for my turn, it's Underworld Breach. I'm just going to take my damage and Thought Seize them. What's going on over here? Can we learn more about this deck? It looks like Hammer, but didn't play like Hammer. I'm going to take Pure Steel Paladin. You can have this Path to Exile. Happy to get ramped when I just sent a land to the bottom. There's the Saga. I hope this one doesn't make any Constructs either. That made last game a lot easier than it needed to be. Yeah, this should attack. It can't protect itself. Get in there where you can. A Blood Moon. That's the card I just got rid of. If I can trick them into Path to Exiling a Bowmaster, this Blood Moon is going to Shadow Realm them. They have no basic sources. They have a land that straight up dies. I hope they attack with Giver again, because if I ambush in Bowmasters... Oh no, a basic planes completely by accident. Attack, 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 attack. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get a Bowmaster payday here, and when they Path to Exile me, they are uh, going to tap out of Urza Saga to do it. Orcish Bowmasters. This is a little bit awkward because I want to make sure Mother dies, but also I want them to cast Path to Exile. If I double block... Oh yeah, they just cracked it off. That was the best possible outcome. Because there was actually about to be an interesting cat and mouse here because now their creature just dies and they lost their path and they can't activate Saga. Because it takes one and I get a 1-1 blocker. Like, I would have had to, like, just block with Orc Army to try to make the Path to Exile tempting. Alright, now they're, now they're gonna die. A Blood a Moon. Goodbye, Urza Saga. Ingmoth Nexus is a brick. Unfortunately, they did draw a basic plane, so there might still be some game to play. But I am much better set up than they are for this. Off you go. This is where they play Stoneforge Mystic Tutor Cauldra, and I'm immediately on the back foot. I'm ready for it. Oh, they didn't even play the Ink Mob Nexus. They're just like, nah. If it can't be a, a creature, I don't want it. Fable of the Mirror Breaker is in. There might have been some discussion to not playing out this Black Cleave Cliffs and looting it away instead. I wonder if they think because their Ursa Saga just died that Ink Mob Nexus would too. If they played it. Okay, there it is. It's a mountain. Figured it out. Okay, they packed it. All right. A tough start to the league. A strong finish to the league. After playing with this deck, I think Reforge should just be a two of. I think we probably just want more Fables in the main. And or more answers to enemy Bowmasters. Because building a deck around the idea of LOL, I'm going to draw so many cards and I'm going to make them draw so many cards. Only works if your opponent doesn't also play your engine spells. Which, Bowmaster and Shouldred. Like, Bowmaster is just a format staple and Shouldred is... In decks that can cast here some of the time. You know, like we did play against a shoulder in this league. And Kroxa also just in decks. It's a, it's a tough sell when your rogue deck is built to take advantage of cards that the format is already built to beat. And you're incentivized. In Bowmaster Mirrors, generally it's correct to hold your Bowmaster until they commit theirs, then yours picks off theirs, and then you're like one step ahead in the Bowmaster War. But because you play Inquiry and Reforge, you're incentivized to get your Bowmaster down as early as possible. Kind of just a tough squeeze. This is like trying to play a uh, Tezzerator in a metagame dominated by Affinity. You're just like getting wrecked by hate built for other decks because you're in the same space, even though your deck is fun. That's my like macro critique about the deck's existence at all. But as far as the list, uh, 4 is too many Reforge. You just don't want to Reforge most opponents. This is a late game spell once you're there. More Fables, more Terminate, maybe Unholy Heat. We're not great at getting Delirium, but I don't know that we need it. Maybe just the four Terminates go in the main, or 3 and 3 on Fable and Terminate, and then that opens up a sideboard slot for something like Colt Ligon's Command. We were in trouble to some artifacts in this league, or a Braid. Like we lost a Scion of Erdraco, and we played against Hammer in the last round, and we played against another Saga deck along the way. Yeah, I would probably up my Fables, up my Terminates, turn this Terminate into a Kolagon's Command, and down to Reforge the Soul. 
and off we go. Rage, thank you for this. It was fun. I, I love these decks that are full of good cards, but also have kind of a, a goof mode and exciting mode to them. This one, I think we did a good job on the first pass, but now that I have some actual play, we could just tighten it up a little bit and still be true to the deck while probably increasing our win rate. And that's the brewing process. Everyone else, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out the Patreon, and I will see you next time.